Morning, Alistair. How are you? <laughs> I'll just let a few people more join on. So I'm just um, starting with one of my refreshing strawberry fizz sticks, which is like a an effervescent natural fizz stick that I have in the morning just to give me a little bit of boost because sometimes if I have more than two coffees before 10 o'clock, I'm going round and round my guy on a broomstick, quite frankly. So this is a better way of having a natural high. I'm going to be showing you how you can make the most of your bedroom. So we'll start off with bedroom bliss. Now this room, oh, I love that wallpaper, Osborne and Little. It's Art Deco inspired and it's got some glitter through it. So I've tried to ring the changes, but this room here is, I call it grandpa's room because um, when I bought this house, the man that built this house ended up using this area of the house as his own little flat while his family moved in downstairs. So it's called grandpa's room. I mean, my mom and dad come to stay which is not nearly enough and I'm missing them like crazy. So mummy and daddy, please come back soon. And dad, I know I'm 56 this year, but I would still like some pocket money. I'll leave that with you. So this room you'll see is a lovely blend of soft whites and textures. Now it's not just all white, it'll be all white in the night. Have a look at these different textures. Now, this wallpaper is like a crushed effect. Now, I actually had this in my old flat in the West End in Glasgow, and it looks like crushed paper. Um, it's from Arte Wall Covering, uh, A-R-T-E, and it really, you know, it's a pearlized white, but it's got a texture in it. So it's not just plain white, it's got a texture in there. White frames, and these are simply from Ikea. Uh, they're Picasso images, um, copyright, Picasso, Ikea obviously have it, so that's fine. Um, and again, I've just kept things very, very, very plain. But what puts the meat on the bones is the contrast. You've got to have darks to have lights. In this room, you'll see what I've done is again, we've looked at the Carndine flooring Look, I should have swept that. Carandine flooring, the soft wood, a lovely soft topish grey carpet. And then coming up onto the walls again and looking at the feature headboard, I love feature headboards. And in this bedroom bliss, you can really see it makes a statement. So we've got a faux leather here and a great upholstery company that I use called Art of Upholstery, or you find your local one, but Art of Upholstery in Hillington are a great company to do a lot of my upholstery. We've taken this soft Warwick faux leather and done a very simple pin tuck stitch. And it gives, it's almost like a Chesterfield, but look how the light is bouncing off it and it just makes such an impact. Very simple lights from Cotterill Light Centres. Those are called Dillon and it's a kind of porcelain glass stem and just a simple pearlescent white shade. Really, really effective. Now, moving back, I love to just mix and match and I don't care where I get anything from, but this lovely fabric, <laughs> this is from Jab, J-A-B. It's one of the fabrics that I have in my collection and it's just a very simple voile, which is fashionable net curtain to you. Remember your granny's nets? This is where you've gone with nets now. It's a lovely voile fabric and it's almost, it's a sheer, but it's got a lovely twist through it a little, almost like a devore velvet stripe running through and it just works so well. And I'm a huge fan. I love curtains. I love curtain wise who make all my curtains. There's that fantastic wave system that I mentioned to you before. You can actually have that ceiling mounted or on a bracket and it means the curtains just sit beautifully. But I'm a big fan of, let's take the wide shot, wall to wall curtains. Listen, a window is not a window unless it's dressed in a fabric. So going back in here, you'll see we've got a little tub chair. That was actually one of my mum's old chairs and uh, I had it re-upholstered. Just a little cute thing in the corner. 
furniture, storage. Now, before, and like kind of 10 minutes before I went live with you today, I'm throwing things in cupboards, putting things around the corner, so I don't live in this haven of tidiness all the time. Believe you me, I wish I did. So storage is really important in any project. Make sure you build in, you get things up and out of the way. So back to the bedroom bliss design. Now, as I say, this is just, I mean, I sometimes, if I'm, I'm having a touch of the vapours, I like to just have a little bit of a chill out in this room because it is so calming. But simple white bedding, um, that is a poly cotton, but I do like a really good thread count cotton um, bedding because it just is so lovely to sleep on. Um, just means you've got to iron it a little bit more. This velvet, faux velvet um, bed throw and these pillow shams have a very much in vogue geometric stitch pattern but it was super well priced. You don't have to be down at Chelsea Harbour spending an absolute fortune to make it look right. You are the best designer, Elizabeth. Well, thank you very much. What a lovely, uh, probably not the best, but I love my job. So where are we now? Um, I'll pop out onto my little balcony. And again, oh gosh, what a beautiful day. There's loads to be done on the outside of your homes as well as the inside. Um, I need to get the whole house washed out, but it's a great time to go out and keep busy. But um, the two things I was talking about today, Bedroom Bliss, which you've just seen, um, I'm now going to take you into Chateau Chic. Gosh, my fake tan has really worked. Does it match my hands? Yes, it is. Um, Chateau Chic. Now, if you have the space in your home, or even if you don't, Use, you can have something that really does give a bit of impact. And in this room, when I added this extension to the house, which has this pitched ceiling, it afforded me extra height space. So it meant that I could go to see my lovely Ruth, good morning Ruth, at Cotterill Light Centres or pop online, Cotterill and Co. Have a look at their range of chandeliers. Now, this is just an amazing... It was actually self-assembly, and I quite enjoy putting it together. It came in three parts, and it's just a very almost bohemian, yet dramatic light fitting. So talking about lighting, the light effect of a room makes the design, but the fittings themselves are almost like pieces of art. Now, if I got my camera up there, I could almost... I could almost have... A Beauty and the Beast moment where I'm in a ball gown dancing with a big hairy wolf. I digress, but that is one of my fantasies. So back to lighting, this is a great fitting. And what I did on top of just the bare bulbs is put these little hat shades on. And you know, you can have these made to order at cottleandco.com or, sorry, a bit dusty. Um, or you can get, I bought these actually online. And they've got little silver inners, so they actually give the extra sparkle. But be getting back to giving a bit of chateau chic, I wanted something that was slightly dramatic. It could be in a French chateau, but it's my take on it, because I've got a little bit of bling in there. And I'm from Glasgow, and what Glasgow boy does not like? A bit of bling. So what we have here is, again, thank you, Art of Upholstery, an oversized wingback velvet headboard. This is just sumptuous and it's fitted to the wall very easily with a split batten, which means it's a piece of wood on the back of the headboard, a piece of wood on the wall with a split angle so they sit on each other. Really, really simply fixed. I would show you the back, but it's probably really dusty in there. So that is the money shot in the room. That creates the centrepiece. I've gone for distressed um, a sort of chateau, French chateau, shabby chic furniture. And if anyone remembers me from good old days of Change That, where I worked with Mark Curry, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen, Linda Barker, Anna Ryder Richardson, my baby. Um, we used to take pieces of furniture and do paint effects on them. And I think probably the best person to paint effects is what well, was Linda Barker. She brought out loads of books on how you can get crackle glazed, distressed looks. But if you've got an old piece of furniture and you want a project to do, get online, find out about paint effects, shabby chic, paint on, wipe off. It does look um, 
amazing. And you can actually, it's hit or miss. So you actually, you paint it and then you take a, a piece of sandpaper and just rub the edges away. So it, where things would naturally be worn would give you a paint effect. So that was the look, and it gives this sort of chateau chic as well. These are sort of slightly, again, distressed lamp bases and a pleated shade. I mean, actually, quite 1950s. So I've mixed a lot of styles here. Though this room is mostly beige and grey, I've popped a little bit of hot orange in there because it just gives the room a little bit of a pop and even on the cushions there. So this is a very sort of dark greyish velvet, but I've popped a little bit of orange onto the piping. And that's a great idea if you're having cushions made. Don't just have it self-piped, pop a little contrast of piping on. I could have lovely vases with orange and white lilies or orchids to bring in the colour in, a little accessories here and there. But this is a nice way of getting a good contrast in. And remember, darks against lights. Darks against lights. Now, this bedding, now, I'm a little bit of a lazy boy. I don't really like ironing. So, I love bedding that's actually like a sort of, what's the word? Like, crushed effects. I could have sear sucker look. So, it's like little puckers. So, it's actually nicer, not ironed. And it gives a kind of sort of country kind of shabby chic look to the place. So I got this from Donnell Mill and it was on sale, um, super king size. Another little top tip I like to do in my show homes and for clients, if you have a double bed, go for a king size duvet. If you have a king size bed, go for a super king duvet because it just means things flow over a little bit more. It actually gives a little bit more elegance and makes it look more like a big throw rather than a little sh little quilt. So anyway, back to what I said with the old, putting the meat on the bones and the old bling into your design. So I've taken this fabric, this was from Voyage Fabrics, which is one of the fabrics that's in my collection again, and they do this beautiful linen, it's an Indian linen, and it's got tiny, tiny little sequins in a leaf pattern onto it. And then, for ultimate bling, I made a big bolster in something like a top that I would probably worn at discos in Ibiza in my 20s and 30s and 40s. Hopefully not my 50s. And what I've done is, you'll see, that just gives a little bit of sort of elegance, a kind of funky way of looking at a fabric, which is very modern, but altogether just gives a lovely shabby chic ambience. I've used the same fabric but this time because I was on a budget when I was doing this room I took the same velvet I did with the headboard and I flanked one width of the fabric which was expensive either side with a plain which is a really good idea if you are if you love a fabric but it's just too expensive so I made I basically made these curtains that all I needed was like five meters of this because it was two two and a half meter drops and what I did was and it's quite a good way of having a sort of shabby chic look again I mentioned the wave system next door in the bedroom bliss area which is a great simple way of doing headings but this is a pencil pleat heading which is a very traditional heading and you'll see it does keep the curtain sitting really nicely but it gives another bit of detail. And this room's more about detail and finesse and finishing rather than simplicity. And on the top, a really nice big chunky pole with uh, big rings around them in that sort of dull gold effect. Works really, really well. And I oversized that. Most curtain poles maybe just be about this size, but I've doubled this one up. This is more like a 56 or a 60 centimeter diameter. Again, like Bedroom Bliss, and in this Chateau Chic room, you will see I've gone for a lovely voil at the window. And this one has a beautiful, this is from a company called Kai, K-A-I. And it's got tiny little blurbs on it, little bleeds of thread that actually catch the light and look like little pin tucks, little, almost like little gemstones. And as you see, it really does glisten. And it's just an effect of the stitching. 
So where are we now? Yes, little chair there that was left from a show home that I did. And it's my, one of my dad's favourite chairs because it's great to get in and out of because he's got bad hips and knees, which I'm probably going to get. Thank you very much to the NHS for looking after my dad in Paisley when he had his uh, hip done. Um, thank you very much to the NHS. I will clap every night happily at eight o'clock for the rest of my life to thank you for really helping us. So thank you so much. So looking back into the room again, and then we look at accessories to add the meat on the bones. Now the other room, the bedroom bliss was very, very simple, but in this case, I've added different pieces on this. This was a gift um, from my friend, very good friend, David Reed from Ballard Galleries. And he gave me this for my 40th. And it's a beautiful um, painted illustration, pen and ink, of a grand house with a lovely, almost vintage mirrored frame to it. And I've had that forever. Well, not since I was 40, actually, as I said. Um, and I just absolutely love it. On the doors here, because I wanted as much light as possible, um, it's a glass door, but what I did was I put a roller blind. So you've got a little bit of privacy. If you've got guests that are having a little bit of a virtual or non-virtual snuggle down. And it's a nice way of detailing a door when you want light to come through and gives a bit of privacy. Um, so accessories, yes, this is one of my little favourites. And I love to slightly overdress when it's a chateau chic room because it's all about maybe things that you've collected from an old home or something and on my bedside here and it's a little bit of a shout out here here we go that's my mum and dad um when they were 60. now this is a groovy one and if my lovely friend susie susie p she's now susan heesman in tasmania this was her and i or she and i at my cousin's wedding i've even got some hair in it there and that was a great date this is a little funky find it's a little polystyrene ball and it's with um recycled um, feathers and it's just a little bit of fun 